All right, folks. So here's what we got for today. We're taking a look at the newly announced Yaesu FTM 500 DE. Now, this radio will be called the DR for uh, North America, United States. The DE is the European version, and I believe they have a DS, which would be the Asian version. Now, everybody's worked up. Uh, Martin Lynch and Sons posted this yesterday. And it's my understanding that Yesu made an announcement on the 3rd about this radio. I cannot find anything on their website. So if we take a look at the um, Martin Lynch and Sons, they have a um, pre-order list that you can join. And uh, that's going to cost you, uh, looks like, 50 pounds sterling. If I scroll down, there's some more information down here. And it just says that they're announcing... Uh, the FTM 500D uh, series 50 watt uh, C4 FM, FM 144, uh, 430, so 2 meter, 70 centimeter dual band digital mobile transceiver. It shares the Yaesu core features utilizing the latest C4 FM digital technology. Well, this isn't a whole lot of information, and I wasn't really happy with that. So I went digging around, and I was able to find this website. It is called hamlife.jp. It's a Japanese website. So I used the translation to translate it to English. And uh, there's a little bit more information here, so that's why I wanted to share this. It says, on the night of February 3rd, 2023, um, Yesu Munson, I didn't know that, Company LTD launched the 144-430 two-band mobile machine. And it goes in here and it talks a little bit about the 500D, the 50-watt, and then it talks about the 500DS, the 20-watt type. And it goes into the C4 FM and analog FM mode. It says it has a six watt high output front speaker um, in the operational control unit in the head of the thing. And it has a three watt speaker in the radio unit. And it uses the AESS um, phase correction dual speaker system. There's more on that below. So we'll take a look at that in a second. But that's pretty cool. I'm, I'm, I'm excited to hear that. One of the challenges that I've had in the past is mounting dual band mobiles like this with the speaker on the on the body, not on the head unit. It's a little bit harder to hear depending upon where you uh, where you mount that. It says it's scheduled to be released in March 2023. I would expect some sort of official announcement and perhaps a demo unit at Hamcation. Maybe I should, uh, maybe I should buy a plane ticket and go check it out. Anyhow, if I scroll down, um, it talks a little bit about the AESS dual speaker system, uh, so the PGM function uh, that the FT5D has. So <clears throat> it's going to have a touch panel display with excellent visibility and operability. It's a 2.4-inch high-resolution full-color touch display panel. So that's pretty cool. Um, I like touch display radios. It makes me feel cool when I'm operating them. Uh, somewhere around here, I saw a price that they were uh, estimating this right here. 94,600 yen. Now that, that's about $725 US. Now don't quote me on that. I'm not saying it's going to cost $725, but uh, I would expect this to be a more expensive radio. Here's where they have some more information about the AESS acoustic enhanced speaker system. And it talks about the balancing and the power output. Okay, if we keep scrolling down, there's some other features. The latest operating system, the E20IV, easy to operate. This has a feature called Customize Function List, and you'll be able to add the functions that you use regularly to this Customize Function List, which makes it even easier to operate. Here are some more of the, uh, the features. Touch and Go function. So if you hold and press the frequency you want to move to on the scope screen, it will instantly move to that frequency. So there will be a scope function. Scrolling down, there's a cooling system that guarantees stable transmission output. Um, it is the, func the Funnel Air Convention Conductor. And I've never heard of that, but uh, it sounds like it's pretty handy. If I keep scrolling down, you can see all the functions here. This link will be below for you to check out. But also, here are some of the main specifications. And I think this is what everybody's most interested in. Your transmission frequency range is 144 to 146. Now, it's going to be 144 to 148 on the North American version. And then here is the uh, 70 centimeter. And it talks about C4 FM digital and analog FM. The reception range is going to get air band, which is awesome, 2 meter. Then it's going to get 174 to 400. And then you're also going to get um, the hand band from 400 to 480. The hand band is included in there for 70 centimeters. And it's also got wide band receive all the way up to 999.995 megahertz. So that's, uh, that's pretty cool. Now keep in mind, that's going to be reception on C4 FM digital, which you probably won't see in those frequencies, or analog FM which is uh, pretty handy. 
The transmission power, 50 watts, 25 on medium, and 5 watts on low. And then here are some of the dimensions. That's really all I got. Stay tuned for more information as, uh, as it's released. I want to thank everybody for watching. If you have any questions, suggestions, comments, or recommendations, post them below, and I'll do my best to respond. Thanks for watching.